Greetings. I'm Rial Lawrence Selby. I'm the chief of Naval Research. Uh, I head an organization called the Office of Naval Research, which has thousands of men and women dedicated to studying science and technology to try to determine the future technologies that would be applicable to the U.S. Navy or the United States Marine Corps. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to the Naval Horizons program. Naval Horizons is a video series we've put together with 17 different videos that show some real hard-hitting science and technology focus areas that we have in the Navy and Marine Corps. These are things like AI, autonomy, uh, ship design, ship hydrodynamics, uh, really some cutting edge things, even uh, advanced manufacturing, 3D printing. We've got scientists and engineers who will talk to you about these different topics, explain to you kind of who they are, why they got interested in the field, and what their field does, uh, and to try to explain it to you so you have a better understanding of what opportunities there might be in a STEM-related field for your future. And so I'm really interested in having you find something you're passionate about, uh, more than worrying about whether you come work directly for me or some other a Navy Marine Corps organization. If you do, that's great. I'd love to have you. But again, I, I just want to make sure you don't uh, leave anything behind on the table you know, when you're thinking about your future. Uh, don't shortchange yourself. You can probably do this stuff. It's really exciting. It'll keep you interested. Uh, yeah, it takes a little bit of work, but the stuff we do is really impactful and really, I think, really fun. Um, so as you view these videos, I want you to you have a homework assignment. I want you to think about what the future of, in my case, concerns, of course, the Navy Marine Corps is. I want you to think about that. I, I'm talking to people about trying to reimagine what naval power is, um, not what it could be, not what it would be if you continue to build the same things today, but what if you totally had a blank sheet of paper and could start from scratch? What, what would it look like? So I want you to reimagine naval power and help me think through what your ideas would be if you were to build uh, something, if you were to design something. If you were to come up with a new way of doing business, what would it be? So that's really your homework assignment as you view these videos. But I encourage you to really kind of think totally outside of the box, really stretch your imagination, and let us hear your thoughts. Uh, you know, like anything else in life, once you've done something for a long enough time, like myself, you tend to uh, get more set in your ways. And it's a constant, for myself, it's a constant uh, struggle to kind of continue to push those blinders open to stay open to different ideas. And I do that through reading dialogue with a lot of different people, uh, through engaging a diverse crowd of individuals thinking different thoughts about problem sets. Uh, one thing that we highly value in the Navy and Marine Corps is diversity, and that's diversity when that could be gender, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, where you study, where you came from, the way you think, all that is highly valued. And in fact, many of our greatest breakthroughs in humanity occur because you brought somebody in with a different thought process or thought pattern that had a had an insight that, that others did not have. And it's that collaboration and that bringing together of different thoughts with different people with different backgrounds and diversity, a diverse group that really will solve our hardest, most complex problems in the future. And if you embrace this, I think you can actually turn this into uh, something that could uh, you can look back upon and realize that hey, you made a difference and really kind of helped set us on a different course that takes us to the next level uh, as, as a country, as a society, as, as the human race. I think it's, it's that important. So I encourage you to, to really stretch your imagination as you undergo this exercise. But really, thank you very much for participating. I'm really excited to see what, uh, what you provide us. Thank you.